It's opening night in the association, and the New York Knicks would be taking on the Washington Wizards here at MSG. Rookies RJ Barrett and Kobe White trying to make a good impression here on the hometown faithful. We have a very different starting lineup as we have Kobe White, RJ Barrett, Kevin Knox, DeAndre Jordan, and Boogie Cousins. The Wizards will roll out John Wall, Bradley Beal, and the rest of the company. John Wall getting it started early, hitting the trifecta. That's the very first points of the NBA season. And then RJ Barrett, how about this for your first bucket as a Nick? A little reversed windmill, beautiful dunk right there. And then Kobe White, a little behind the back, doing some dribble moves, passes it over to Barrett, who hits the three. The Knicks up by two early. A little later, tied up ball game. Inside pass from Knox into Cousins. He gets the layup to go, and it's a two-point Knicks lead. Kobe White, the basketball, a nice dish to Cousins, who then gets the end one over Tony Brown Jr. It's an early Knicks lead. Moving ahead, Bradley Beal driving to the rim. He gets denied, but he does a beautiful pass to Daniel Gafford, a first-round pick for the Wizards this season, the big man out of Arkansas. And then Boogie Cousins going to work down low, lobs it up to DeAndre Jordan. They said this awkward pairing wouldn't work, but it's working so far. And then Cousins pulls down the rebound, pulls it up ahead to Alonzo Trier, who steps in, lobs it up to RJ Barrett. What a connection and what a game this was so far. Then Boogie Cousins driving to the rim, gets another and one. Cousins will finish with 32 points in his New York Knicks debut. Alonzo Trier, though, finished on the all-rookie second team last year. Beautiful dish inside to Cousins, who jams it home. An absolute poster right there. And then Boogie going to work down low, gets a triple team, kicks it up to Trier, who hits the three right there. It's a 16-point New York lead. Drew with the basketball, giving it over towards Alfred Payton, a guy who we may actually end up trading very soon, but a beautiful pass to Cousins. He dunks it, and Scotty Brooks and this Wizards team will need a timeout. Jeremy Lin will hit the three back at his former home. He, the whole insanity thing is kind of blown over. It's now RJ Sanity. What a pass, though, from Dotson to Jordan. And the Knicks are blowing out the Wizards here up by 18 at this point. Kobe White says, why not make that 21? That's a big three from him. White with a pretty quiet night, only finished with five points. But R.J. Barrett catching the lob. He had a big debut, finishing with 24 points in the game. Kobe White, a nice dish over towards Mitchell Robinson, a guy who I think will have a very bright future for this organization. And the Boogie Cousins kicking it over to Knox. Knox will step back and drop the three. We're up big here going into halftime as Alfred Payton will hit the three with one second remaining. It's a 63 to 27 lead going into the second half. Bradley Beal, a nice dish over to Gafford to get the second half started. Daniel Gafford had a pretty quiet night overall, but RJ Barrett hitting a transition three right here. What a pass from Boogie Cousins, and what a game this was from New York. Dotson up ahead to White here. White will hit the little mid range jumper. Mid range or danger for Kobe White. That would be his only points of the night. And then he passes over to Barrett, who hits a casual, heavily contested corner three. They're up by 37 now. Boogie Cousins going to work down low. Oh my goodness, overpowering the defender and then slams it home. 24 points at this point. But then Dayumbo getting the dunk himself. He was also a first-round pick for the Wizards. Actually, no, I believe he was a late first-round pick for Washington this season. Boogie Cousins making everybody jump with these pump fakes. He would finish the layup there. That was two of his 32 points on the night. And then Kevin Knox getting the and one. What a shot right there. Way to hold his poise. He finished with 20 points on the night. Some unfamiliar faces here in the fourth quarter as we are up by 36. As Mitchell Robinson would get the dunk right there. And then Bellinelli trying to kick it out over towards Jeremy Lin. He would hit the three. Jeremy Lin, a pretty solid night for himself. And then Allen, Kadeem Allen kicking it over to John Wall. He would hit the three. John Wall had 23 points on the night with nine rebounds himself. He was a rebound shy of a triple-double. DeAndre Jordan, though, catching the lob and throwing it down. Is this the new LA? Because this is starting to turn like Lob City. Has a big three right there from Wall. I see it a pretty decent night, but he just doesn't have much help. A beautiful lob, though, from Wall. Great chemistry there with Daniel Gafford. And as time winding down, Boogie Cousins getting double teamed, still makes the shot without putting any effort in that. What a play. As the Knicks win big here on opening night, as they pull away 110 to 86, they destroy the Washington Wizards. What a game from Boogie Cousins and RJ Barrett combining for 56 of the 110 points that the Knicks had tonight. Kevin Knox also dished in 20 points. DJ put in 11 and 19 and 5. After that, we would travel a little a couple miles north to Syracuse as we would see the Syracuse Orange take on the Purdue Boilermakers. 
A guy that a lot of people are saying at the number one pick right now is Jarius Gervin, the big man from Syracuse. We saw him play at IMG last year, and a guy on the other team for Purdue, his name is RJ Roach. We saw him play at McEachern last year. He was a very prized high school player. As you can see, a beautiful shot there from Gervin. A comparison that I would give to Gervin is almost like an athletic, a more athletic DeAndre Jordan, but not as strong DeAndre Jordan. He's a big power forward, stands at six foot seven, I believe. But you can see RJ Roach, super fast, super athletic, can hit difficult shots, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. But Gervin can also stroke the three ball, as well as drive in and hit these little mid-range or close mid-range shots. But as you can see, getting the ball, just driving to the rim, overpowering the lower defenders. And he's hyped up after this bucket, letting everybody hear it. But he would lead this team as he had 24 points on the night. RJ Roach ended up having 13-4 for Purdue. As you can see, this crazy and one that he had. He finished with 13-3. and three. He, As Purdue ended up losing this game at Syracuse, 66-48. And Syracuse, led by Gervin, is looking to be one of the top teams in the country this year. As really all they have is Jarius Gervin. As you can see, catching that awful lob, somehow still gets it to go. And then going to work on the defender, hitting the contested jumper. That is good. As we look at the draft boards, this is from Draft Express. Obviously, the teams aren't correct because it's just like four games into the season. The 76ers are not going to be the last team because they made the finals last year and they pretty much have their whole team back. But Gervin is the projected number one overall pick. And then on the other side, RJ Roach is projected to go 13th. Obviously, probably not to the Trailblazers, but he's projected to go 13th. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the New York Knicks franchise, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.